Hi guys, welcome again to... Ano ba yan? B, madumi pa ang bahay. Maginis ka muna bago ka mag-video, okay? Okay. <laughs> anyway, hi guys, welcome again to After Reviews. And in today's video, we're going to review the Acer Chromebook 311 C733. Ang haba ng linya, no? Haba. Ano nga ba talaga si Chromebook? Si Chromebook ay isang new type of computer designed to get things done easier and faster, according to Google. So, imbes na Windows or Mac, Chrome OS yung ginagamit niya na operating system. In short, gumawa si Google ng isang portable device na tumatakbo gamit yung operating system na sila yung gumawa. Okay, let's tackle this later and for now, let's check the specs of this baby. Si Chromebook 311 ay may processor na Intel Celeron N4100. Itong si N4100 ay quad core na with 4 threads. In terms of memory, meron lamang itong 4GB ng LPDDR4 RAM. Hey! Yung ilalim pa ng kama, linisin mo! Ako ba tinatawag mo? Yung LPDDR stands for Low Power Double Date Rate which means less power yung kinukonsume nito and ang target devices nito are mobile computers or mobile devices. Another trend yun nga pala nito is MDDR or Mobile Double Date Rate. Pagdating sa usapang GPU, meron siyang Intel UHD Graphics 600. Itong GPU na ito is merong core clock speed na 200 MHz and boost clock speed na 700 MHz. Also, shared yung memory accessibility nito, meaning wala siyang dedicated memory for its GPU. Yung screen size naman niya is 11.6 inches at meron siyang display screen type na LCD. Yung backlight technology naman na ginagamit niya is LED and pagdating naman sa screen resolution, meron siyang 1366 by 768. I was surprised when I tested this gadget sa ilang Android games na available sa Play Store. I was able to download and play Mobile Legends using yung keyboard and a mouse. Though hindi mo pwede i-map yung hero skill sa ilang keys ng keyboard, but still, I was able to play na parang nagdodota lang ako. Also, I tried to install Call of Duty, pero hindi na siya nag-load. Most probably, hindi ito compatible sa Chromebook kaya hindi siya nag-load. Pagdating sa storage, meron itong 32GB na storage. Ang reason kung bakit 32GB lang si Chromebook ay dahil si Chrome OS is built for web applications and all files and user data will reside in the cloud. To be honest, mas handy naman talaga if cloud storage yung gagamitin natin para i-store yung mga files rather than a hard disk. Pagdating naman sa usapang battery, meron itong 3-cell lithium-ion battery na may 3920 mAh na kayang tumagal hanggang 12 hours of standby time. Meron din siyang maximum power supply wattage na 45 watts. Si Chromebook 311 merong height na 0.84 inches at width na 11.9 inches. 2.76 pounds naman ang weight nito and sobrang gaan nito kaya pwede mong dalhin kahit saan. Uy! Tagal mo dyan na! Pinagawa mo dyan! Nice! Sa right side nito, meron siyang USB 3.1 port, Type-C port, at Kensington Lock. Sa left side naman niya, meron siyang Type-C port, USB 3.1 port, micro SD slot, at yung headphone jack. Pagdating naman sa color, obsidian black yung kulay na nire-review natin ngayon. And I think, ito lang yung available color na nirelease ni Acer for Chromebook 311. Si Chromebook 311 ay merong built-in na webcam. Ang specs nitong webcam ni 311 ay 720p HD camera. Pwedeng-pwede ito for video calls and online meetings. Sinubukan din natin mag-benchmark gamit yung speedometer. Si speedometer ay isang browser-based tool na ginagamit for benchmarking sa mga available browsers today. So far, ito yung nakita kong pwedeng gamitin ni Chromebook for benchmarking. Kung meron pa kayong alam na tool na pwedeng gamitin ni Chromebook for benchmarking, i-comment nyo lang dyan sa baba. 
After running speedometer, nakakuha ng score ng 54.71 si Chromebook 311. Sa grading system ni speedometer, hindi ito pasado kasi nasa 70 yung passing grade niya. We also tried to install some games bukod dun sa nabanggit ko kanina. I was able to install Asphalt 9 and then laro ko din siya. So far, smooth naman yung gameplay. Huwag ka lang mag-expect ng magandang graphics habang nilalaro mo yung Asphalt 9. Sinubukan ko rin mag-install ng Netflix para matest ko kung okay manood ng videos gamit yung Chromebook 311. So far, okay and I think pwedeng-pwede na si Chromebook 311 for your daily dose of Netflix entertainment. Now let's discuss Chrome OS for a bit. Si Chrome OS is an operating system na based sa Linux distribution na Gen 2 and derived from Chromium OS. Gen 2 is a Linux distribution package or in layman's term, isang variantal Linux operating system na compiled locally based sa user preferences and is often optimized para sa ilang type of computers. In short, pwede natin i-customize itong si Gentoo Linux depende kung anong need ni user. Si Chromium OS naman ay isang uri ng operating system designed for running web applications. Linux distribution din ito and ang developer naman nito ay si Google. Yung engine na nagpapatakbo ng user interface ay web browser engine. Kaya itong si Chromium OS is built for web applications rather than desktop applications. Ito rin yung reason kung bakit hindi tayo pwede mag-install ng desktop apps kay Chrome OS. Kasi yung UI engine ni Chrome OS is the same with Chromium OS. Nalito ba kayo? Magkakatunog kasi yung pangalan nila eh. Kaya ganito na lang, isipin na lang natin si Gentle Linux plus Chromium OS equals Chrome OS. So ngayon, pag-usapan naman natin yung pros and cons ng Chromebook 311. Unahin muna natin yung pros ng Chromebook. First, it's a very handy device. Sa size and weight ng device na ito, pwedeng-pwede mo siyang gamitin kahit saan. If you'll use it in work-related tasks, it will be a good device for your daily tasks, especially if you want to work from anywhere. Chrome OS is a lightweight operating system. If we compare natin si Chrome OS o Windows, mas mabilis si Chrome OS because less yung third-party apps na naka-install. Unlike Windows, out of the box, you'll see a lot of third-party apps installed and will require you to install and this will lead to compromising the boot-up speed of your Windows device. Lastly, it's a very cheap laptop. Pagdating sa usapang presyo, based sa Acer website, ay nasa 300 US dollars lang itong si Chromebook. If we convert it to peso, nasa around 15k ang price niya. Para sa akin, sobrang sulit na nito. If basic tasks lang naman yung gagawin mo like internet browsing, video streaming, typing, and a little bit of gaming. Ngayon, i-discuss naman natin yung Bintana cons ng Chromebook. Bintana madumi pa o! Oh. Pwede ba ilayo mo sa akin to? Ayoko makita ito. May itaulo ko. Firstly, low-end processor. Like I said earlier, Intel Celeron yung processor nitong si Chromebook 311. Hindi ganun kalakas yung processing power ni Intel Celeron kung i-compare natin kay i5 or kay i7. Secondly, keyboard has no backlight. Isang downside to para sa akin kasi ang hirap gamitin ng device na ito lalo na sa low light rooms or sa dark rooms. Lastly, limited apps can be installed. Dahil Chrome OS yung running the operating system kay Chromebook 311, limited lang yung apps na pwede natin install sa kanya. Hindi tayo makapag-install ng ilang applications tulad ng Adobe Creative Suite at mga kilalang PC games. Pwede lang natin i-install yung mga apps na available sa Google Play Store at sa Google Chrome Store. So yun guys, si Chromebook is hindi para sa lahat ng tao. Kung hardcore gamer ka or mahilig ka mag-edit ng video, ng photos, and kung ano pang stuff na mabigat gawin para sa isang laptop, is hindi para sa si Chromebook. Pero kung simple task lang naman, at gagamitin mo lang siya pang araw-araw, nanonood ka ng videos, magta-type ka lang, mag internet surfing ka lang, online meetings, online schooling, is para sa si Chromebook. So overall, masasabi natin na Pwede na, na pwede, pwede na natin siyang gamitin pang araw-araw. So, yun yung overall verdict natin para kay Chromebook. Oy, anong ginagawa mo dyan? Ba't nakaupo ka pa? Ha? Maglalaba ka pa? Ano ba yan? <laughs> yun guys, dito ko nalang tatapusin kasi may labahin Please pa ako. Na. Eh. Oo na nga, maglalaba na nga. Kaya kung nagustuhan nyo itong video na to, i-like nyo and i-share nyo. Dali na! Teka lang, tapusin mo ni Spill. Mag-subscribe na rin kayo. Sige, bye-bye!